In the last few videos, we created some scripts using PHP, Python, and Bash scripts that could connect to our MySQL server and retrieve data from it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a C++ program that does the same, connects to MySQL server, uses these MySQL underscore tutorials database, and select all data from the students table. And these are the records that we are expecting to be retrieving with this program. If you remember, we had a server that was in public and I created a directory called MySQL and here we have all those uh, scripts stored. Python, PHP, Bash script. Also, I have created a directory called C++ and I want to create my program inside this directory. I navigate to it and here I want to create a file using Vim editor. You can use any type of editor or IDE. It's up to you, but to keep everything simple, I use Vim and type Vim MySQL.cpp. MySQL is the name that I chose. You can choose whatever you want and that CPP is the extension for C++ programs. After pressing enter and then I on the keyboard, I'm ready to go and create my program. First of all, we need to import some libraries and we do it by typing include and then inside the bracket the name of the driver. MySQL driver is one of them dot h. These must be brackets. And another library will be mysql underscore connection dot h another one will be c p p c o n n standing for c plus plus connection and then result set to work with the results Another one will be again cppconn slash statement dot h and the last one will be io a stream. These are the libraries that we need to use, we need to import while connecting to MySQL. Now let's create the main function by typing int main void and here we create a pointer for MySQL driver this way MySQL underscore driver and will be driver then a pointer for connection let's call it C O N and then we need to do a try catch and after all we do a return zero and now it's time to fill the try part. First of all, let's create a, an instance for the driver. I type driver equals SQL double colon MySQL double colon and get underscore driver underscore instance and then we are good to go to establish the connection using the driver with driver connect and inside the parenthesis we need to pass the information about the server 
the server will be using the TCP protocol and the address to localhost is of course 127.0.0.1 and then the port to the MySQL server that's the default port that I'm using and it's 3306 then the username I'm using root and the password for root is this so this will establish the connection now it's time to set the default schema or the database that we want to use we do it this way connection set state schema and here we type the name of the tutorials the name of the database this one that we want to use here we need an a statement object to connect to the to execute actually SQL queries on the server so I type SQL statement and then name it and it equals connection create statement now we have everything set and it's time to execute our query on the server so I type SQL result set and I name it res and it equals to statement execute query let me check the typo if I have one execute query yeah result set that's correct now inside the parenthesis we can type our SQL statement select star from students just a statement that we use on the MySQL terminal now that we have executed the command on the server uh, it will return multiple rows and we need to create a while loop to loop through all these records and return them back to us uh, for each data retrieval so I type while what result is returning we output the information retrieved from the server C out so C out will output whatever we write here ID as a label that we create and get int because we are about to get the ID and the data type for ID is int here the name that we type here must be the exact name on the MySQL server so it can find it let's output one more record from each row again we add this label to the previous string and then result this time get string because we want to get the first name and first name data type is a string and after that we're good to go to and uh, line now it's time to clean up the free resources by doing delete results delete statement and also delete the connection because we already have retrieved the information and we no longer need them but 
I made a mistake here. It must be after the while loop. Okay, and this part will be executed if the SQL is returning errors, SQL exception, and E. So if the connection is not made or any error has happened, we can handle them this way. STD, CERR, and here we can type something to show, for example, error, SQL error, and then we output the actual error. STD and and done. And this is the whole script that we write as our C++ code to connect to the MySQL server and retrieve data from the students table of MySQL underscore tutorials database. Let's remove these lines. So you can have all the code at once if you want to take a, a screenshot or pause the video. And now I save the file. Here I have the mysql.cpp file. So it's time to compile it and turn it to an executable, executable program. So I use G++ and output name the output MySQL and then I give the file path to it and then dash L MySQL CPP C O N N and this must compile a program. Now we have a program that we can use. If I do an ls, you see the MySQL program compiled here. The way that I can call it is just like bash a script and when I call it and press enter as expected we have all the data retrieved from the students table. This is the way that you can create a C++ program and compile it to connect to your MySQL server and execute commands on it. We used just a simple select command to show you how it goes but of course you can tweak this tutorial and use complicated and sophisticated commands and do whatever you want with this uh, script so hope it was helpful and you liked it and until the next one i bid you farewell